Now to today's coronavirus numbers here in Michigan. In the past 24 hours, 20 more people have lost their lives to the virus. 284 Michiganders have now newly tested positive. A dramatic development involving two studies, including one on hydroxychloroquine. That's the anti-malarial drug that was already at the center of so much controversy. Tonight, both studies have been retracted after the authors said they can no longer vouch for the accuracy of the data. The medical journal The Lancet retracting a large, widely publicized study about the use of hydroxychloroquine due to possible flaws in the research data. The study published two weeks ago found there was no benefit to COVID-19 patients from the drug and suggested it could increase the risk of heart arrhythmias and death. An independent review was launched to confirm the findings after several concerns were raised. The healthcare analytics company involved named Surgisphere would not provide access to all the data, saying that would violate client agreements and confidentiality requirements. As a result, the study authors, quote, can no longer vouch for the veracity of the primary data sources. The New England Journal of Medicine also retracted a separate study which relied on data from the same company. That study suggested certain blood pressure drugs did not increase the risk from COVID-19. The World Health Organization had paused its trial of hydroxychloroquine after the Lancet study was published. After conducting its own evaluation, that research has resumed. On the basis of the available mortality data, the members of the committee recommended that there are no reasons to modify the trial protocol. The executive group received this recommendation and endorsed the continuation of all arms of solidarity trial, including hydroxychloroquine. Experts say the retraction does not mean hydroxychloroquine does or does not work for COVID-19 patients. Several other studies involving the drug, we should point out, are still ongoing. Well, we are often running here on a Friday. Let's check in.